Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Hey Sam, look at this. Look how big my lighter is. I. What'd you say? Oh. Uh, I'm Peter Schriebel. And I'm Sam Fosco. And we hold the title for the world's largest barbecue grill lighter, oven lighter, what do you want to call it? Barbecue lighter. Okay. okay. The couple of things we set on fire are his first grill, we completely roasted that. We, we loaded it with fires and just lit it up. We haven't actually shamefully done much barbecuing with it. Yeah. It's been mostly just to ignite fireworks and just set things on fire. I'm not buying you a new grill. You get a lot of wow, that's kind of insane too. Wow, that's really dumb. But for the most part, everything's been pretty positive. You're gonna kill yourself. Uh, I get a lot of that too, but other than that, most of them are, are very nice. So we got this normal size lighter and I designed it in just copying the dimensions in SolidWorks and then I scaled that up and we cut it out of foam and coated that with fiberglass and just put a weed yeah. torch The internals, internals. were, um, at least in the video, it has a, uh, the part of a normal weed torch you can get at a, what is it, like a tool store or whatever, yeah. used for just burning weeds or whatever or just singeing your pavement. And then we also put like a small pint can with a fuel pump in it for shooting out gasoline, that's the real flame part of it. <laughs> When we first uh, found out about each other, like making stuff, we were sitting in the middle of like high school. It was in history class and it was like the first couple of days of school and they were like, all right class, go around, tell something about yourself. He was like, well, I'm Sam and I like to make airplanes. And I see next to him and was like, huh, you like to make airplanes too. I like to make airplanes too. And then we've just been friends ever since. <laughs> We have some of my more favorite projects, like this is the Thomas the Train one. Over here we have the world's smallest boring company flamethrower. Oh, we have an electric skateboard made of a old 1970 Tonka Winnebago. This is a propane powered Nerf rifle. <laughs> Pretty loud. This is the um, electric airplane I made. I designed this and I built it and I test flew it. So I did all three things. Probably my favorite creation so far is probably the electric airplane I built, mainly because that one can actually just fly me around. It's also my most complicated project so far because it had to you know, fly me around without killing me. I actually like the giant tank. Oh yeah, That was one of my that. favorite. When we made the lighter, we weren't really attempting to get the Guinness World Records title. I don't know if we're really gonna go for another one. Mm -hmm. At least not right now. Stay lit mode. Bigger, more fun, more dangerous projects. <laughs> Probably. In That's the meantime. Yeah. As a kid, I remember always wanting to be in the Guinness Book of World Records book and always buying it. And I tried to attempt a couple records and never got very far. So being in the book now is really awesome. It's like a childhood dream come true. <laughs> Having the record is kind of neat, especially for something like this, which we didn't really intend to get. So as far as like, you know, being envious of like all this kind of cool job, it's not all fun and games. Run while you still can. I mean, it's a, it's a serious job. Like day in, day out, sometimes we work very late trying to get these things done and you're, you're battling lots of stuff. It's a lot more work than I ever intended and I kind of wish I did take a nine to five. So it's, it's kind of crazy, but if you do try to do the YouTube stuff or you know, become like person out making stuff, be prepared to lift a lot of weight because uh, it will demand a lot from you and give up a lot of stuff in your personal life. 